All right, in this section, we're going to set fonts and colors for our uh, template site. Uh, to do that, we're going to start by going to the customizer, which is under Appearance, Customize. So depending on which uh, template site you installed, you're going to have a certain font pair that the downloadable site uh, set for you. So if you want to change this globally, and then that way every single uh, heading is a certain font, and every single paragraph font is a certain font, you would do that here. You can change these individually in, uh, element, in the Elementor page builder, but instead of doing every single box, we're just going to change the global fonts so that we don't have to go in and change every single box on every single page. So once we get inside the customizer, we'll just go to global. And these are the Astra settings here. So this is unique to Astra. If you don't have the Astra theme installed, you'll probably have a different uh, set of settings. So we'll go to global. And now we'll go to typography. And you'll see you have base and headings. So let's start with base. Looks like it's set to Noto Sans. So all of these paragraphs are Noto Sans, unless they went in and changed it and overrid the uh, preference. So if you want to change something else, Noto Serif, you see now it has serifs on it. So that would go in and change all the paragraph fonts, and every time you open up a paragraph, you're going to get this unless you set it manually. You also see the size that you prefer the weight, line height. So these are all your default things, but you can change them when you're designing in Elementor if you want. So that's the body, and then we'll go to the headings. We have Montserrat. I'm going to go ahead and just change to a random one. Watch here. You see this is also a serif font. Uh, what I would recommend you do is just Google uh, font pairs 2019 and then just get some ideas from some design agencies and they'll show you you know point you in the right direction there's a whole lot of you know information to it so it's kind of up to you it's your personal preference I personally have a hard time beating the ones that they pick so I usually just leave them as is alright so then you would hit publish and that's how you would change your fonts globally that is next uh, the colors you'll see you have base colors for your theme this is sometimes where some of the plugins pull a color and like the button in some plugin might pull the color from here but this is an important one here link color so all of your links by default will be a certain color uh, all of your text by default will be a certain color so you set this up just to give WordPress and any third-party plugins the uh, the opportunity to find out what color they should match that's the base color now I'm going to show you oh and also you want to do the button color because that will also um, they didn't set this so it was set manually in in the page so like this button but if you actually set this up then it may by default do that, but it may just be gray by default. I'm not 100% sure. So the next thing I want to show you is how to set up your color palette in Elementor so you have easy access to all the colors that you're going to use. To do that, I'm not going to save my changes. I'm going to go to a page, say all pages, and let's just say I go to services okay so on this page uh, if I'm designing it I really want this color since it's part of my theme in my palette so you want to go to this uh, three lines and then color picker and now well first I have to copy the color so I'm going to select the widget color I'm going to copy that and now I'm going to go to the color picker 
and now this is where you would set the ones you use so I'm not using this one here I'll just replace it paste it in there apply so that's that one we have a white we also have a gray here so let's get that background color by edit section style color copy that go back to the color picker paste that so notice I've used two of the boxes and this theme's pretty simple it doesn't have a lot of color variation but if you wanted to change this one to like a darker red uh, you know you would just do that and apply that so once you set this you'll see that when I'm editing away and I'm like um, gonna make a new section and the sections gonna have a header and I need this to be pink so now I go to style text color boom I can just click it down here because this is your color picker palette so now that I've reset these it's a lot faster put in a spacer or something like that duplicate that and now I say oh I want the background of this section to be gray edit section background gray so that's kind of uh, one of the essential tools so that you can work a little bit faster you set this up ahead of time and then you're good to go